Barbara, there's a such thing as being reasonable, and this is a good time to be reasonable. We put a lot of work into your funnel, and the only reason it's not working is because you erased the entire funnel, unknowingly, but nonetheless, you did so. Now, let's just go back and go through this particular order here. On day number one, which is on June 17th, we created all of your pages right here. The only problem we had was the redirect, and it was because you said your domain was parked on that particular uh, uh, address, okay? So what we said was that we fixed everything and we're waiting for it to propagate. We said that right here, this is on June the 17th at this particular time, that all of your pages are working except this one, and we're just waiting for it to update. Now, we deliver on that day, and we ask you to not uh, refuse gig delivery. This was maybe just a little bit past the, the time when you uh, erase the funnel. Now, the funnel is up and running right now. We're just waiting on the SSL, okay? We had to actually put a ticket in with our support team to add the SSL to your uh, funnel, okay? So we're just waiting for that. No big deal. A whole day goes by. It's June 18th, no word from you. You're, you're gone. We're looking for you so we can tell you that your funnel is up and running. The only problem is that we have this, this redirect on your sales page. Now, we go down, we get an update from our sales team that everything is updated. So we give you another update. That is on the 18th that the SSL has been added to all of your websites. Now, at this particular time, your sales page does not, I repeat, does not have that problem at all anymore. Whatever happened when we switched the Green Geek uh, uh, servers into your GoDaddy account, it erased that issue, okay? So I guess this time, we're still trying to reach you for the last two days. If you would have gotten this information, then maybe on the third day, somewhere around here, you wouldn't have erased everything that we've done, okay? So this is what happens now. You give us this message. Uh, you say that you have an IP address. This is at the point. This is two whole days after we've delivered the, the your, your all your pages done. We, we said that we would do it in two days, and we delivered a little bit before two days. You were nowhere to be found, okay? So then you pop up three days later, and this is when you erased everything. You're awaiting whatever, whatever, blase, splee. Okay, so you Google, the, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what happens here is you erased all of our work. You didn't check in within the three days that we delivered your sales page. If you would have, then maybe you would not have did what you did with the thing because we would have told you there was no reason to do anything to it. But at this particular point on the 19th or whenever you did the uh, IP adjustment, you erased all of the pages. Okay? So we're not in the office for today. Let me just add, add that too. I get up and I see your, your, uh, your panic on my phone. So I send someone to the office just to fix your problem. Okay? So we went through this. Blase, splee, yada, 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 yada. Okay, and this is when we don't know what, what has happened. Because the last thing we've done is added all your pages successfully. And now, out of nowhere, they're all wiped out. Okay, so we send you all of these, these uh, this information. So now, this is the point on the 19th where you admit that you went in and did something that you really didn't, you weren't too uh, familiar with because you had to get directed by a, a phone uh, call and you wiped out everything okay so on this particular day which is the 19th we get your panic I get your panic uh, email so I send someone into the office now mind you this is the day that we're not in the office I send someone to the office just to fix your problem and they get to the situation where everything is fixed now the base of the pages have been fixed. You wiped out the pages and the coding. 
So some of the coding had to be re-added to the pages and uploaded to your the, our service uh, once again. So that's what we tried to emphasize to you at the beginning, that it's not just about making a revision on one page. The page has to be taken down, edited, zipped into a zip file, uploaded to the server once again. You know, that that's like four steps for one revision. On the first order, you kind of you, know, you kind of hit us real good with the revisions. We told you this and you did it anyway. So what? We were very patient with you on that. That's even more reason not to cancel this order. Okay. So at this point, all of your pages are going on the front end, except the coding that you wiped out on the back end. So it's as simple as us going in and recoding these four pages so that they all work properly. Now, mind you, this is the day that we are out of the office and you panic here. You, you go to the fun is not working and and even worse is that you don't even give us a few hours. This is after you've disappeared up here for a good three days into the, the process. This was the breakdown. This was the reason why your funnel is not working is because you weren't communicating with us. It's as simple as that. If you would have been communicating with us and seeing that we sent you the update that you don't have to do anything with GoDaddy, then you would never would have wiped out all of our hard work. So basically, we've done your gig twice. Really, three times. The first time on the first domain and then once on your domain. And then after you wiped everything out, we added it one more time. Okay, so now you got to understand, you canceling at this point, it's, it's, it doesn't make sense. It really doesn't. And it's very unfair to us, all the work that we've done. Now, I've gotten all of that out of the way because I felt like it was not something I can type to you. Okay, that's a lot. Okay, so now let's go to right now. What do we have right now? You have a working funnel. Let's check it out. Best health dog, health dog. This is your domain. Click on it, and what do I get? I get your sales page with the SSL. I scroll down to the bottom. If a customer decides to go to the refund policy or anything to do with your privacy policy, bang, it goes to your privacy policy. Let's go back. This is your sales page. Now, let me explain this right here. This was a gig extra that you did not pay for. This is the scarcity timer. We can give it to you if you want, but since you made a big deal out of it, we eliminated it. It's just these little dots and that's no big deal. If you want us to add it back for free, we will. But we need your your offers exp expiration time. If it's 30 days, we can put 30 days in it and it will tick down. But we need that information from you. Okay? Let's get back to the sales page. This is your sales page. If you click on the offer, and what do you get? A working page. This is your upgrade offer. If the person decides that they want to get the upgrade offer, they click on this button. And where do they go? They go to your PayPal. This is your PayPal. $89. This is the $89 order bump price. Let's go back. What if they decline this offer? They will go to the regular. They would choose, okay, no, I don't want that. Let's go here. And where do they go? to the regular offer page. Let's check. Okay, that is three of your pages working. So when you say that you don't have a working funnel, you actually do. It took us a little bit more coding to fix what you erased by doing whatever you did, but we did. You have a working funnel. Let me say that again. You have a working funnel. You have a working funnel that we've put a lot of work into. So for you to not give us a few hours to fix a problem that you caused, we think that's very unfair, Barb. We, we really do. Okay, so as we've displayed to you, your sales page works, your privacy policy page works, your order bump page works, your thank you page. Let's click on that and see what we get. This is your thank you page. It is working. If a person that goes to the bottom and clicks on privacy policy, they get your privacy policy. Now here's the thing. Your thank you page is going to be 
a automatic redirect after the person pays by PayPal. So it's not something we can add, but we've created a step-by-step -step tutorial to show you how to add this thank you page into your PayPal button. So after they, they're complete with their order, they get redirected automatically to this page. Okay, so that was a lot. So I had to make a video for it because it's, it, it makes no sense. We put way too much into this funnel. And if it was our fault, yes, I'd understand that. But you got to admit that you didn't check in with us for three full days. If you would have, you would not have changed anything with your IP address because you did not need to. When you did that, you did way more harm than good because you wiped out all of the pages. And had you checked in, even the next day, you would have seen that the pages were working. And maybe you would have been deterred to do anything with, with GoDaddy. Okay, so let's just get this done. The work has been done. It makes no sense for you to cancel right now, especially since you don't get a cash refund. You only get a Fiverr uh, credit to spend elsewhere with someone else after we've done all of this work. And it's just, that's just not fair, Barb. So please just accept this delivery. Look at this video from start to finish. Thank you for your business.